Okay, today we're going to sight in this rifle. It's a 30 odd 6 Springfield, a Remington 783. It comes, um, I actually got it through Canadian Tire. It's a synthetic stock with a camouflage pattern to it. And it comes with the scope uh, already installed with the base and the rings. And uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to check these uh, rings and base. I will take these off first, the rings, and I'll check these bases down here uh, and make sure that they're loctited. The bases need to be loctited in place, uh, but don't put loctite on these rings here. That's not necessary. And I'll make sure that the crosshairs are lined up uh, exactly for the way that I wish to look through the scope. Okay, so I have the two uh, top uh, half of the rings taken off. The scope simply comes off there. And I'll grab a nice big thick flat top screwdriver now. These just screw in place like this. One and two. Now we're down to the bases, and the base is what needs to be on there very secure. And again, you have to use Loctite under this just to drop. I usually use this uh, Loctite 242. I've had this forever, this uh, bottle, and uh, just a little drop. And I'll show you that's done in a second. And just judging by the look of that, uh, there probably was not any Loctite uh, put on that screw before the scope was put on, so I'm kind of glad I did take it off for a look today. Okay, now I'm going to reinstall the bases. A little bit of oil or something left there. And the wipe all is clean. Sure, there's no obstructions that would cause any shimmy. The base, you might make sure there's no dirt that would cause the, the uh, base to, you know, be elevated on one side or front or back. So. Okay, you may wonder how much uh, Loctite to put on there. Just a little drop will do. You don't want too much. If I could just put one little drip right around like just like that. That's enough. And these. Uh, small bolts are meant to, they're pretty strong, so you can put a fair bit of pressure on them. Again, this has to be tight in order to make your scope uh, accurate. Now I'm going to put the um, uh, bottom of the ring back on. As you can see, it just uh, puts on one side, <clears throat> lays on the other side. And you take your screwdriver. This does not need to be loctited again. Just a fair put of pressure on it there, just to keep her nice and snug. Like that. And it's worth mentioning, this one has, these bases actually have two different adjustments. I could move the scope ahead a notch if I wanted to, if it was too close to my eye back here, or if I had a scope uh, that allowed for the space, I could have one on one uh, ring here and one on this one. But when it came from the factory, two of them were on the back. So we'll put back just like they were. Now I'm going to lay this uh, scope back in the place. Uh, just you want to kind of even it up, you know? This space here and this space here. You know, I kind of make it as close as you can get to the middle. You don't want to put these uh, tight at all until you look at your scope afterwards and make sure that your crosshairs are lined up properly. So we'll kind of just make them a little snug, not very much because the least little bit of snugness on that and you will not be able to turn the scope. So 
So it's reassembled there. Uh, it's all nice and snug already, even though I don't even have these snugged up yet. Now again, I'm going to look through, uh, I'm going to pick up the gun, I'm going to look through the scope, because to make sure that the scope is lined up properly. See, even with that little bit of tension on it, it's really hard to turn that scope. But it's enough that if I turn it and put it right in place, it'll stay there. So I'm actually going to pick it up, I'm going to look out uh, safely uh, back into the woods beyond my house here, and uh, find it where the sweet spot is for the crosshairs to be perfectly up and down, and uh, we'll snug it up tight after I adjust that. Okay, so I found the spot where my crosshairs are up and down perfectly to suit my eye. Um, now, when you tighten these up, you notice there's a little gap uh, right here, right here. And it's the same on the other side, or it should be close to it. This one's a little bit closer, so you want to even those up if you can. But when you compress this for the final bit of snugness on here, don't do all one side the one time. Do a little bit on each side. Because if you tighten up one side all the way, you tend to turn the scope and thereby you will uh, misalign your crosshairs again. So just a little tip there. So a little bit at a time until you get it tightly down. Now these don't have to be bar bar tight. They have to be snug and tight, but not as certainly near as tight as what you would have applied, the pressure you would have applied on your bases. Uh, because you, it has to be tight enough to withstand the recoil from the shot. And this is a 30 odd 6, so it has quite the punch. But I can guarantee you, after installing thousands of scopes, that even this little bit of pressure I got here now, uh, this scope will never move. So now I'm going to recheck, once I have it tightened again, I'm going to recheck the crosshairs to make sure they didn't move while I was tightening up the bolts. All looks good. Looks perfectly up and down, left and right.